Hi everyone and welcome back to Melody Crochet Nook. My name is Beth and um, today we are going to talk about everything that I have crocheted this last week and then also give you kind of an update with my whips. Um, so to get started, I guess, um, the th <laughs> it's been a slow, slower week because I've been working on projects that take me a little bit longer to do. So I'll start with the smaller things first um, because I'm not fully done with a couple of them. So um, this little guy, this is Gray Person. So if my, <laughs> he looks, he's cute, but um, it was he has these strings sticking out right now. Um, if you remember, I did a grape cow um, and my daughter wanted a quick little baby cow. So I made that for Savannah. And then today we finished off the baby duck. So it's like, it's like her larger duck but just small. Um, so yeah, she helped me with it and we did this little bow on top. I think she named her Melody, <laughs> which is her grandma's name, uh, my mom. And then I made this little guy for my son. He wanted a goldfish and found me the uh, a picture to go off of and so I did my best without a pattern and there he is it's pretty cute I like him but I don't think he I don't think Logan named him so those are the well those are the things that I currently have that I finished I also finished an orange beanie and I'll post a picture here of it um, and it was for my father-in-law and so he now has it. Um, my dad came to visit a couple of days ago and he also requested a beanie. So, um, I'm making it with the Heartland. Um, and this is the Carlsbad Caverns color. I've really been wanting to use this yarn. Um, just, it looked fun, soft, inviting, which it really is. So, um, yeah, I will be working on this this next week as well. And I'll show you the finished product of it next week. Um, and then... I am so close to being done with this beanie. Um, it's in pomegranate color of the Bernat Velvet. And I am trying to figure out which pom-pom to put on top. Right now, I put a poll up on Instagram. And right now, pink is winning. So I'm pretty sure after this video, I will be adding the pink pom-pom and having another beanie ready to go. Um, and I have another video going up, I think a couple days after this one, and it kind of goes over um, like my plans for um, de-stashing my yarn and making a plan for um, for it all, which I have a plan. So um, if it's not up already, check it out in a couple of days. Other things that I have as a work in progress are, I did some more work on this blanket. Doesn't look like it, but it's really long. So <laughs> I think I added like half of a row, but you can really start seeing the waffle design. Um, 
And I plan to work on this quite a bit more this week. And then, um, and then I have this as well. This is a bunny that I'm making for my oldest daughter. Um, she liked the Benny bunny that I had made for a commission. So she asked me to make one just like it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, making her the bunny. I have one foot done so far, but it'll get done soon. Um, and then the mystery. The mystery thing that I was making, I can't show you yet, um, but I can show you next week. It won't be, I mean, I finished it. I finished the mystery amigurumi, but I can't show you until next week because my husband's birthday is on Wednesday and it's a gift for his birthday. So I'll be able to show you um, in next week's video, next week's update video. Um, and okay, so the beanie that I made for my father-in-law um, was made with this. It's the um, big twist, I think. And I need to wind it, rewind it, rewind it. Use the ball winder to um, get it back into good shape because right now it's all squishy and I feel like it's going to get really tangled from here. Um, so as much as I do like how the ball winder makes everything smaller and stuff, when you do the center pull, as easy, it's a lot easier to work from the center pull. Center pull. <laughs> But when you do, then it makes it all squishy and I feel like if you have to store it again, you need to wind it up again. Um, but I guess that's true for any yarn. Um, so, yeah. I think that's it. Um, this week, this week I am going to start on... On a new project I think I'm gonna try to make like a Christmas tree out of this so we'll see how that works hopefully it does work out well um, this is a type of yarn where I don't think I would be able to use the ball winder um, <clears throat> on it I don't think I can use the yarn winder on this because of how there's like all these little pom-poms in there. So I think it would get caught in the little circle thing. So I will see what I can figure out with this. But yeah, it's called Spring Garden. Yeah, the color, it's Lion Brand yarn and it's Spring Garden made in Turkey. Um, but yeah, my daughter said it looked like a Christmas tree and she's not wrong. So I think I will try to make a Christmas tree amigurumi for it. And then there's this, um, this ribbon yarn. I've never used any of these, um, but this ribbon yarn, I think it would be fun um, to make the trunk out of this. So, yeah, we'll see. I will definitely be keeping you updated on all of these fun little projects and everything. So, let me get a verse for today. Today is April, no, Today is March 31st and it is the evening. So let me take a look. Okay, so the morning for uh, today 
it's March 31st and the session or section for today. It starts out with Philippians 4.19. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches and the glory by Jesus Christ or by Christ Jesus. And it says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? For all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours and you are Christ's, and Christ is God's, as having nothing, and yet possessing all things. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is good in a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. The living God gives us richly all things to enjoy. God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. Um, right now, as I think most people are going through the same thing of just challenging financial times with the rise of everything. The cost of living is going up. The cost of everything is going up. Um, and right now the Lord's really been speaking to us about how he provides, how he doesn't let even a sparrow go without and how much more precious are we than a sparrow? Um, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus, Philippians 4.19. And it's a reminder that God owns the cattle on the hill. He owns everything. And he gives to us when we need it. He allows us to go through hard times so that we continue to put our trust in him. And he always pulls through, always um, provides when we need it. Um, and just some different things recently are starting to line up to help us, help my family. Um, and it's just really neat to see it all starts to come together. There's still a lot of unknowns, but seeing how certain things are starting to line up, it it's encouraging. Like even though some of those things that are lining up are not great, <laughs> um just God uses it all. He uses difficult situations to get us to do other things that lead to a resolution for the issue. I don't know if that made any sense, but it's just what the Lord has been speaking to me personally about and to um, me and my husband for our family. So anyway, um, I hope you're all having a great evening or morning, uh, whatever time it is for you when you watch this. And if you have any prayer requests, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to pray for you and pray with you. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. So yeah, have a great day. Bye.